First off, a big thank you to everyone who has sent a meme in so far to simandan at gmail.com. Keep sending them my way because I'm always looking for more to debunk. Today's meme is an instant classic and it once again involves the moon, which seems to be one of the most meme worthy topics for flat earthers. They do love having a go at the moon, don't they? Here we go. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth Memes with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today's video, a massive thank you to the sponsors, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or you're managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. Now you can start a completely perfect personalized website with the new guided design system Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. You can easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. And if you've got a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools where you can accept credit cards, PayPal and Apple Pay and in eligible countries offer customers the option to buy now and pay later. And you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics, get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan for 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. Right, on with today's meme, which as I said at the start, is an instant classic. You've probably seen it before in some form or another, and it is of course, this one. The old moon earth perspective confusion one. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Take all the time you need. As we can see, we've got two images in this meme. The first one of the moon and earth together, and the second one of the Earth rising above the Moon's horizon. Now if you look closely, they've superimposed the Earth rise picture onto the top of the larger Earth picture, insinuating that this is the view we should see of Earth from the Moon regardless of distance. Of course, we all know that photos are taken from different distances, with different cameras, and ultimately different lenses. Let's take this one apart, shall we? Now we begin with this photo, which is the larger Earth photo and the Moon passing in front of it. Now, this photo was taken by the EPIC imaging device on board the Discover satellite. The Discover satellite orbits Lagrange point 1, a point in space where the gravitational forces of the Sun and Earth balance. Now, As Discover orbits the L1 point, the EPIC imaging device on board can take photos of the Earth's constant sunlit side. For example, in addition to the images of the Moon passing in front of the Earth, it has also taken fabulous photos of a solar eclipse shadow. Now, The EPIC imaging device on board the Discover satellite uses a 4 megapixel CCD detector coupled to a 30 centimetre aperture Cassegrain telescope. Now, Those telescope optics are designed to capture the Earth in great detail which of course makes it appear large in the frame of the photo. Now, let's move on to this photo, which of course is the famous Earthrise picture from Apollo. To start with, let's talk distance. This photo was taken in lunar orbit, which means the crew of the Apollo mission were around 240,000 kilometers away from Earth. The astronauts on board used a Hasselblad 500EL camera with a 250mm lens and 70mm film. So why the difference in Earth sizes in these two photos then? Now, as I said earlier, the EPIC imaging device on board Discover is designed to take pictures of the Earth in great detail and from a great distance, which means its field of view is optimised to allow the Earth to fill the entire frame. And that 30 centimetre telescope on there provides significant magnification, 
which means the Earth will appear large even from 1 million miles away. Now, whilst capable of high quality images, the mission camera was not designed to provide the same level of magnification as the epic imagery device on Discover. And it's quite clear that the moon's horizon in the foreground of that photo emphasizes the distance to Earth. So to conclude, the epic imaging device on Discover has a telescope with a high level of magnification, making the Earth fill the frame. The Hasselblad camera, whilst using a telephoto lens, captures a broader scene, where the Earth does appear smaller because of that large distance. Any photographer will tell you that this is a basic understanding of lenses and distance. Now, using these two photos together to try and debunk the existence of our space program is, in my opinion, gross intellectual dishonesty. Now I can't even give any excuses for the maker of this meme because it's quite clear that you can quickly discover, see what I did there, why there is a difference between the earth and moon sizes in each photo. It definitely was designed to trick you this one. In fact, I run a small poll on my personal Facebook page and ask people if this photo would make you think a little bit about the validity of the two separate photographs. And every single person that commented said that it would. So as you can see, it's already done its job by making people doubt the validity of the photos. And that's why we need to debunk these memes as much as we can. So if you see this meme anywhere on your internet travels, link this video directly below it so it can quickly be debunked. Well, there we go. What do we think of that one, everyone? Does that meme maker try to deliberately trick people or are they nothing but a flat earth sheep? Let me know in the comments below. And as I said at the start, if you see a meme which you think needs debunking, send it to me at simandan at gmail.com and I'll put it in the list. We've got loads to go through still. So as I said, send them across and I'll add it to the list. Thanks so much for watching today. It is truly appreciated. We're all done and debunked for another one. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel. We're on the march to 600K now. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up as well. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, visit squarespace.com for a free trial. And then once you're ready to launch your website, squarespace.com slash Simon Dan, and you get 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. I've been Simon Dan. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all on Friday uh, for the return of Eric Debay. See you then.